So I wanted to make a video about the progression in, ca in the cab sessions. I remember the first time in November when I went to a cab session, I thought, what is this going to be about? I, I, I didn't expect anything. So when I laid down and the session started, we were only about four people. So during the session, I felt like this, this warm glow come over me and my, my, my inner energy started to move to dance. It was moving, but I was just moving. I was just lying, sometimes having like some jerk reactions. Sometimes I would have like these very foggy images, or like this. I would, I would be in this in this dark spaciousness, or sometimes like a voice or a thought came through, like telling me something about my life. It was very subtle. So as the sessions progressed, I realized that. If I ate on the day of the session, my session would be more foggy. So intuitively, I started to fast on my sessions. So when I fasted during the sessions, my sessions became more clear. And all of a sudden, I remember this very vividly, around session five, six, seven, my body started to move more. The movement became more and more. Uh, I was still very very shy to make sounds because there was a deep judgment of how my voice sounds and that it was not pretty that that I was ashamed of it right and shame is connected to pride because you're too proud you feel shame right so shame comes from pride anyway so like people were sometimes screaming or they were having like like these releases of, of, of noises. And I always like, whenever music or people make noises, I would always allow myself to make noise, but only to the degree that it was below their level of noise. If there was no music or no noise, I, had, I didn't have the courage to, to express the noise that would want to come out. And sometimes I would even feel it, like my body wants to make noise, but it's like it's it's locked you know it's like there was this you know on your phone it's like you have this um, this icon or it, it's locked and i just i felt that it's locked it's the impression doesn't go through so during my set as the sessions progressed i started to have more and more visuals so whenever i was fasted i would see i would start to see angels i would start to see things in my life. I would start to see uh, people, people in my life, and um, there were energy cords between us. They, they would start to be cut. At a certain point, I would start to like be see a, a lot of white light, and like I could ask questions to the light, and it would show me. I started to see visions about the future, um, about uh, other dimensions. Um, and whenever I ask questions, questions I start I started to get a, an answer back sometimes there would just be energy that was rewiring my brain so there was like energy go going up and there was like a bundling of white energy and it was like contracting contracting and then releasing and all of a sudden I felt like a shift I felt more happier more joy more open um at a certain point, I saw more and more angels. So I started to see how in the beginning, when the session was started, I would see how there was an energy orb in the room and it was creating a shield around us. And it was like, it was connecting everybody. I saw like the an energy of, of like a snake or a dragon coming and circling through everybody, connecting everybody. I... Um, At a certain point, I remember I kept seeing, um, I started to see, while I was lying, people, their, their chakra, their energy fields. I would see dark entities. I would see a past lives. And gradually towards session 12, 15, 
my body started to become more free and free to dance, to get up, to dance to music, to flow with the music. Sometimes the energy would just flow. At a certain point around session 17, I realized that I had this block that could not allow my, 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 my voice to express itself. So I worked with it in transpersonal coaching. I was like, why do I feel this block during the session? I worked it out, I felt the shift, I went to a session a couple days later, and lo and behold, as the session started, my voice, it was like, if you have an amplifier, you know, that you, you speak through and it speaks loudly, all of a sudden it was like, before it was like I was trying to make sound, but nothing was coming through. All of a sudden now, it was just open and there was like this stream of noise coming through, like shouting freely, feeling complete noise and complete sound without judgment in your body. I felt like this emptiness and whenever like a voice or a, a noise or a sound came up like shouting or, or hemming, there would be like these echoing in, inside my body and I would just marvel at the, ex, at the experience because it was like, there was the realization, this is pure existential uh, being. This is just being, like I exist and it's not tampered by, by judgment or by how I am, how I'm supposed to be, how I'm good enough or not good enough. It was just complete. At certain points, I remember during the sessions, whenever I shared, I felt a bit uncomfortable, I felt a bit um, shy to look people in the eyes, like gradually that all went away and I felt more and more at ease of just being myself and speaking my truth. I remember at some point when I, when I would be telling my experiences, one of the facilitators, she told me like, you know, you shouldn't always tell everything that you went through because when you tell it, it's almost like a movie. And some people may may compare their experience to yours. When they hear yours, they have, they would have this, this feeling that their session wasn't as successful, wasn't good because they hear how comprehensive your was. So they, they have this feeling of like, whoa, it wasn't like his, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dissatisfied my, with my session. But some people would actually feel like, whoa, that's interesting. I also want to experience that. So as the sessions progressed, I started to also follow a vegetarian diet. And sometimes I would fast, but not always. Uh, but with the vegetarian diet, my experiences, my emotion, my, my, my feeling of the energy became more vivid. Also, whenever whenever the sessions now would start, my body would be like like a fish flickering, moving, uh, a lot of activity, a lot of dancing. Uh, it was very easy now to just get up and dance, to go. It was like my body was now jailbroken and free to go from ex one expression to the, into the other, to singing, to to uh, expressing emotion, to expre expressing anguish or suffering, or um, um, singing. Like there were moments when I started to see angels come and I felt how they energ energetically they were there and they took my hands and we started to sing um, Elohim, which is a name for God in Hebrew. And um, my experiences became more and more from a personal level so dealing with my personal stuff, I remember I had sessions where I, where I had to let go of my life. Like a, in the beginning, I would see like this, this, this emptiness, and a voice would tell me, "Your life is over. There's nothing more that you can do in this life. There's nothing more that you can get. Your life is over. You, you have you have no reason to to live anymore." Let yourself die. Let ego die. Let a new consciousness be born in you so that things may happen. And it said, your life of satisfying your desires is over. You've done that. 
now it's a, it's a period of, of your life where you will be of service. So I was going through sessions where I felt myself letting go, where I felt like it's okay to die. And I felt, felt like this, this numbness, like I was letting go and I was dead in my body. It was, it was very strange sensations. And gradually, when I started to, to come in contact with my angels, I started to see messages that I needed to develop, develop certain skills, that I needed to let go of certain persons, that I needed to change things at home, that I needed to um, change my, my diet. And after that, there were sessions, I remember, which were very intense, which dealt with familial stuff. So I would see my family tree and I would see the connections to my ancestors and their traumas. And I would feel how the energy of love and light was clearing it up and I would feel this beam of light coming to me and then going right back towards them, clearing it up and healing it almost as if. So we're healing the, the ancestral lines. Um, there were also periods where I saw my, my shadow side, like my shadows. What, what are the things that I'm unconscious of? With me, it was power, sexuality, and <laughs> one more thing which I'm not comfortable with saying. So I, I, I was made aware of that. I was made aware of my incarnations and the previous uh, lifetimes that I lived. And in certain lifetimes, I was made aware of how certain lifetimes uh, had a certain trauma. Like a one in one lifetime, there was a person who, who was starving and starved of hunger. So there was now this, this feeling of, I don't have enough, I need more, I'm starving. So that was present from that lifetime, that was cleared up. There was a, a feeling from a warrior, a warrior who was defeated, who lost his courage to his, 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 his fire, his courage. He, he felt himself a coward because he failed. That cowardice, it was, it was within me. It was resolved, it was healed. Uh, there was a through line in, in through that, to this person that there was a, a need to become famous, to become important, to become someone recognizable. That was cut through. And all of a sudden, like all that inner work was being done, all that ancestral work was being done, and then it was more about the collective. It was more about purpose. The sessions became more and more about, so in the sessions there would be like periods. Whereas be, in, the beginning, in the beginning sessions, just lie on the ground, sometimes move a bit, sometimes make sound. In the, in the middle sessions, like from 15 till 20, 25, there would be sessions where I would like scream a lot, very intense very electrifying sessions, very uh, changing altered state of consciousness, uh, seeing different possibilities of reality, seeing, uh, uh, seeing light beings, getting blessings on, or initiations, uh, having meeting Jesus, having him touch me, um, reconnecting with my inner child, like so many different experiences. And they were all so intense, so powerful, so full of emotion and energy and sometimes it would be like a volcano spitting out like and then these last sessions now they're more about embodiment grounding to the earth using my inner gifts using my inner talents uh, about living my purpose how i'm supposed to live my purpose what i'm supposed to do now in the sessions, my body is very active, very expressive, but there, but it's all like a wave. Sometimes it's an, it's a very, it's a flaring up. It's a very high wave, and then it goes down, and it goes up, and it goes down. It's very changing, and it's all about embodying what I am, how I'm to serve the world, how I'm to live my my life going into the future, what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to to, to embody and to, to give to the world, how I can be of service. So, yeah, that's, and also another part, 
there's a deep um, connection with my twin flame, right? my soulmate, my twin flame, and she's coming up more and more often now in my sessions. And there's like, there's like visions of how we're supposed to connect together and how we're supposed to move into union together and create something in the world together to consciously be live our creation hmm. so yeah that's like an overall progress of everything that's happened uh, an outline and i think there's more to come i don't know what but it was very interesting hmm.